Mr. President, this gavel was presented to James Pettigrew Boyce in 1872 when he was serving in the office that you now hold. It has been held by every SBC president for the last 147 years. John Broadus presented it as a gift to Boyce, saying that it represented the beginning and the end of the Lord's ministry on earth. That is because its handle is from the balsam trees that line the Jordan River where Jesus was baptized, mm -hmm. and its head was turned out of the olive wood from the Mount of Olives from which Jesus ascended to heaven. I now hand it to you to continue this tradition of gaveling this meeting into session with the broadest gavel. The 161st session of the Southern Baptist Convention in the 173rd year of its history assembled in Dallas, Texas is now in order. Amen. Amen. It's my privilege to introduce to you our parliamentarians, assistant parliamentarians, Craig Culbreth of Florida, Adam Greenway of Kentucky, Amy Carter Whitfield of North Carolina, Barry McCarty is also our chief parliamentarian and he is from Texas. Would you thank the Lord for these precious people, these servants of God. There is a printed explanation on how to make motions and resolutions and how to use the microphone system on pages 26 and 27 of your bulletin. The last time for introducing motions is this afternoon at 345. In accordance with the bylaws, the president has appointed the committee on committees, the credentials committee, the committee on resolutions and the tellers committee. And these appointments appear in today's bulletin on page 25. This time, I want to invite a dear friend, a wonderful leader, Kevin Smith, the executive director of the Baptist Convention of Maryland, Delaware in Columbia, Maryland. He's going to lead us in scripture and prayer. Would you welcome Dr. Kevin Smith? I want to invite you to listen to the prayer of our Lord and then I will invite us to pray together. Jesus spoke these words looking up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that the son may glorify you since you gave him authority over all, all flesh so that he may give eternal life to everyone you have given him. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and the one you have sent, Jesus Christ. I have glorified you on the earth and by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I had before the world existed. I have revealed your name to the people you gave me from the world. They were yours, you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given is from you because I have given them the words you gave me. They have received them and have known for certain that I came from you. They have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those that you have given me because they are yours. Everything I have is yours and everything you have is mine and I am glorified in them. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I was protecting them by your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them is lost except the son of destruction so that the scripture may be fulfilled. Now I'm coming to you and I speak these things in the world so that they may have my joy completed in them. I have given them your word. The world hated them because they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. 
I am not praying that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. I sanctify myself for them so that they also may be sanctified by the truth. I pray not for these only, but also for those who believe in me through their word. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe you sent me. I have given them the glory that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. I in them, you in me, so that they may be completely one that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved me and have loved them. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they will see my glory which you have given me because you love me before the world's foundation. Righteous Father, the world has not known you, however I have known you, and they have known that you sent me. I made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love you have loved me with may abide in them. I want to invite you to stand and our president would love of us to pray together. Invite you to pray, start out praying with the one or two people around you, and then I will close us out in prayer after a moment. But would you just look to someone around you and based upon what we've read of Jesus' prayer, pray for us and just pray out loud right now. Our Father, we come in the name of your Son, thanking you for the privilege of gathering together in your name. Please bless us over these days, Lord. May we do our work with diligence. May we do our work in a way that would bring glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you are omniscient. You know all things. We don't need to rehearse to you where we are as brothers and sisters in this convention, but we pray that you would move by your spirit and strengthen us, renew us, grant us the grace of repentance, grant us the grace of forgiveness, grant us the grace of being filled fresh with your spirit that we might be Acts 1-8 witnesses in Dallas and beyond and around the world. Use our president over these next two days, Lord. Give him grace and give him wisdom, Lord, as he presides. And, Lord, we pray that we would leave here committed to the great commandment that we would love you with everything and love our neighbor as ourself and committed to the great commission that we would tell every creature about the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ in salvation. Please bless us, Lord. Please use us for your glory. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen.